Ori is black. I'm white here. Uh, let's go ahead and play. Whoops, feel a little bit. Uh, let's play. Let's switch it up a bit. Let's go knight f3 first move. Okay, b6. Uh, we'll go d4. B, bishop b7. Uh, c4. See what black decides to do. e6. Okay. So with knight c3, this could, if black plays bishop b4, turn into a Nimzo Indian type opening. Okay, he does decide to do that. The whole idea of this opening for uh, white, white has a little bit of an extra space in the center. Uh, however, on black side of the board, black has good pressure on this uh, on the light colored squares in the middle of the board. So white just works on maybe gaining some extra space. Black works on you know holding that back and counterattacking the center. That's the main gist of the opening there. Now. Knight c6 doesn't feel correct. Why would you block your bishop in there? So we're just going to go e4. Don't see why not. Grab that extra space in the center. Okay, queen f6. Attacking my d4 pawn. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's just go bishop to e3, just defend the pawn. What will black do after this? I, I feel like knight c6 and queen f6 are not very good here. Black has allowed me to build this uh, strong pawn center, three pawns here in the center, grabbing all of this uh, space all over the place. Hey, Magnitudinal Wave, thanks a lot for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Um, 97. Feels weird here. It just feels weird. This queen is actually running out of squares to move to. Only has the g6 square to go to. Let's, uh, let's just go bishop d3. We're just developing our pieces, supporting our pawns. Black plays e5. Okay, makes some sense. Uh, actually not a bad move here at all. Uh, trying to counterattack the center. However, let's see. There might be a way to get around this. There might be. So I either, if I push the pawn, he plays knight d4, and I'm not entirely enthusiastic about that. I'm looking at capturing the pawn, and then kicking the queen around a bit more. I think that's what we're going to go for. Yep. So let's go f4 to keep attacking the queen, I think. Hmm... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's see what he decides to do. F4, he probably takes the knight. That makes some sense. We're also down about a minute and a half. Gonna have to play a little quicker. <laughs> so what's black gonna do with the queen here? Okay, he retreats. Alright, um, that doesn't really bother me at all here. Let's just go ahead and cast. I don't see why not. Next move, we're probably going to play e5 to kick the queen around more. Or knight to d5. Alright, we really don't want to trade queens here. So I'm just going to capture back with the pawn. I do have double pawns, which could be a little bit uh, of a problem. But my pieces are going to be aiming toward the king side pretty quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and just centralize the rook here. Next move, I'll play e5. Most likely. Most likely going to play e5. Okay, so we're going e5 here. Attacking the queen. We're also threatening to pick up the pawn there on h7. So queen h6 is probably the best move. Alright, maybe not. Uh, I think we just pick up the pawn. Don't see why not. The king's going to have to move somewhere. Okay. And our g2 pawn is defended well, so there's no checkmate threats. 
I think we're going to go with the full out attack here. Uh, let's go f5, and we're going to play f6 next move. Uh, just kind of, oh, that's not checkmate. I guess we're going to take that. Okay. Still going to play f6 next move, most likely. Or pretty soon, at least. Uh, let's first play bishop f4 to guard the pawn. f6 next move. <laughs> Alright, still doing f6. Uh, now we're just going to play bishop to d3. Hit the knight, see what he decides to do with it. Alright, we're going to take on g7 and play bishop g5. We're going to go bishop f6, and then we're going to create a mating net here is the, uh, the idea. We also have a free knight. Eh, let's just grab it so he's not able to bother us anymore. Uh, we'll just back up a little bit. Alright, now we're going to transfer the rook over to the h file for checkmate. Oops. Alright, rook h3. And there's no way really for him to stop checkmate on h8. And that's all she wrote. Alright, uh, let me see if I can do a little bit of analyzing for the game. Uh, I did email Danny Wrench, uh, the chess.com. Uh, VP or content VP, I'm not exactly sure what his title is, um, to see if I could get this account premium uh, in order to help out with the analyzing and things like that. Um, we will, we'll see what his answer is. Hopefully by Friday next stream, uh, I'll be able to have a premium account and um, analyze things a bit better. All right, so the opening uh, is actually fine by Black up until Knight C6 here. Black, in this opening for Black, uh, I wish I could flip the board. Can't really flip the board even. Um, in this opening for Black, he should be focusing on controlling these light squares in the middle of the board. So a move that makes a lot of sense here is simply Knight F6, guarding those two uh, light squares in the center, Knight F6. And um, then I would have to figure out something different to do. Knight C6, though, doesn't really fit in with the position. I get to play E4 pretty easily. Um, he's pressure With Knight C6, he's pressuring the dark squares rather than the light squares, like he should be. Um, also notice how this bishop fighting this knight is actually helping out with the two light squares in the center. If this knight disappears, the two light squares in the center are weaker. So all black's pieces should be working on these two squares. Um, knight c6 blocks this, though. e4, queen f6 also doesn't feel very good. Uh, bringing the queen out very early um, just gets kicked around pretty easily, as we saw in the game. Uh, so I discard the pawn, knight e7, bishop d3. This actually has the threat of playing e5 to trap the queen. Like I said before, the queen only has like one square it can move to, e5, and then the queen would be uh, trapped there. So black plays his own e5, so he stops the, tra the queen trap. Uh, I took, take, 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 play f4, kick the queen around more. Also grabbing more space in the center, always wanting to uh, make threats. Uh, with as many moves as you can. Queen f6, I get castled, take, take. I definitely don't want to trade queens because any kind of end game here um, with the doubled pawns is probably not great for me. So I just capture back there. Castles, uh, rook e1, rook e8, e5. He should have played queen h6. You have to watch out for the threats that uh, white has here. So queen h6 to guard that pawn. But even after queen h6, I play f5 and the bishop attacks the queen, so still getting quick kicked around quite a bit. Uh, free pawn there, f5, f6 coming. Take, take, take there, 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 f6. Um, takes there, I just move back. Uh, oops, take, take, and just kind of create the mating net and uh, have the rook deliver the mate. All right, so we're up to 1,017 in our rating. Hey, Mr. Fartbrains. 